that's satisfying. It's for Dobby. Property of the Half-Blood Prince. Cute! Hi everyone, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. Today I have a Harry Potter stationery haul. I got quite a few things here, so let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> I have so many Harry Potter stationery <laughs> items to show you guys. All right, where should we start? I have lots of notebooks, I've got planners, I've got stickers, let's see. For the items that I'm showing you today, a lot of them were recently purchased on Amazon and the rest of the stationery items are just items that I've already had and I wanna show you guys. So first I wanna show you the two planners that I purchased off of Amazon. It's still in its packaging, so let's get the packaging off and then we'll talk about it. All right, so I have the two out of the packaging. Let's go through the two planners and see what both of them are all about. So right off the bat, I noticed on this one that it's in this really nice hard plastic laminated material, so that's gonna keep it protected. And one thing to note about this planner is that it's a 12 month undated agenda. And that's what they put right here. And so what it means by undated is that you get to put in all the dates yourself. So that's really nice because it gives you the flexibility to buy this at any time of the year. And then you can just start from there and move forward. So that way you're not stuck buying a 2021 planner where you're already missing out on a quarter of the year. So this one you can just get started with April if you want to since we're at the end of March currently. So that's one thing I really wanted to note because it's nice that you can kind of get started where you want. But if you're someone who you're just like, no, I just want to pick up and have all the dates filled in for me. I don't want to have to do that extra work. Then maybe this planner might not be right for you. All right, so let's open this up and see what the inside looks like. So the inside shows you a bunch of different spells. Then here is where you would put your name, who this book belongs to, the contact information if it gets lost. And then it says, welcome to Hogwarts School. This next page here is a little section for notes. And then on the opposite side is going to have a little folder pocket. All right, so then if you keep flipping, you're gonna to get to this area where you can fill in the entire month. So you're gonna see it, the full calendar here. And then when you keep flipping, you're going to see your weekly agenda where you can fill out all the information here. And what's nice is that it gives you different sections where you can fill in notes, goals, and then on the bottom here, it shows you where you can fill in spells. So you can kind of make that anything you want. Or if you're going to Hogwarts, this might be very important to you to put in all your spells that you need to work on for that week. And then continuing to the other side is just the rest of the week. And then I also want to point out that it has all these little tabs here. So you can kind of fill that in and you can put whatever month of the year you want. And then you can start wherever you want. So if you want to start with March 2021, you can do that. If you are starting later in the year, you can do that as well. And what's really cute is that each tab has its own little unique image. So this one is going to be Slytherin. It's got a Hufflepuff one. It's got... Hogwarts. Oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. This one's probably my favorite so far. I love that. And it has this really cute gold speckle, if that's picking up on the camera here. We've got Ravenclaw. And since I show the other houses, I might as well find Gryffindor. And then this is Gryffindor, so you're not left out. <laughs> and let's go to the very back. That's probably where the stickers are. Oh, yes, I see them. <gasps> cute. So the stickers are the house themed colors. So that's really pretty. I'll give you a closer look of those. So we've got some to-do stickers. We've got like going to the grocery store stickers. There's coffee date stickers, appointment reminder stickers, important things to remember stickers, and then some other ones down below that you can use. Very cute. This next page has a bunch of different stickers that you can use as well. Ooh, this is nice. I didn't know these were in here. So you don't have to fill out those tabs writing it out yourself. You can use these stickers in the back and put whatever month you want to label it as, which is nice for me because I hate my handwriting. So they would come in handy for sure. And then down below here are gonna be all your important holidays that you can fill out. Since you're filling out this planner yourself, they're not gonna know where you're gonna want Valentine's Day, Christmas, things like that. And then here's some more decorative stickers. And then that looks like that's it. And then on the back side is the same as the front, more spells. And this one retails for $18 on Amazon. All right, so that was planner number one. The next planner says it is for year 2020 to 2021 weekly planner. So I saw this one on Amazon on sale for $14.35. I believe it's only on sale because a lot of the dates have passed. 
So that's something that's nice about this one versus this one is you can kind of start this one wherever, but if you don't want to fill out your own planner yourself, this would be the route to go. And this one was retailed for $21.99. So now this one is only $14.35. Here is the artwork for the front of this one. This comes off and this one is a little harder. So this is going to be a little more durable, kind of has that faux leather material, very soft but it's definitely gonna be a lot more durable than the other one. And it has this nice little elastic on here to keep this book shut. It keeps all your papers from getting damaged. All right, so let's get a look inside. So first peek, it's just a plain page. Nothing exciting. And then here is a really pretty Hogwarts crest, kind of in this pale pink color. And then on the bottom here, you can put property of, property of the Half-Blood Prince. And then this one starts off with July. So is this 2020? Let's see. Yes, starts off with July 2020. So these pages are relevant as we are in 2021. Let's see how far we have to go. So just to show you, this is how many pages you would have to pass by. So I'm filming this on March 27th, 2021. So this is where we would be at currently. So there's really not that many pages left. So I can see why they have discounted this one. This is what the monthly planner looks like. Here are where you can see all of your weeks and you can fill that in with more detail than just on the calendar side. Oh, that is so cute. It has Ron Weasley's birthday in here. That is really cute touch. I love that. That's really cool to have that in here. So I'm guessing everybody's birthday from Harry Potter is going to be included in here. So that's really nice little touch that they added. And then each month, it looks like it kind of changes colors. So from March to April, it goes to a black. And then from April to May, it's gonna be teal. And then at the end, it has a little area for notes here. So you can fill out anything extra that you can't fill out throughout the week. And then here's a little artwork on the very last page. And then like the front, it just has that plain color. And here is the back. So out of both of these, I definitely would prefer this one over this one just because a lot of the dates on this one has already passed. I do love the quality and I like the birthdays that they included in here, that that was a really nice touch. But for this one, you're gonna get a lot more use out of it. There's a lot of pages in here that you can fill out. And I really love that it comes with stickers as well. So I really would prefer this one over this planner for sure. All right, next I have some pens I wanna show you. So the first pen that we have is going to be a Dumbledore pen wand. All right, now that it's out of the packaging, so the long side of the pen, you are going to get a bookmark as well. Here is what the bookmark looks like as a little close up. It has the Harry Potter logo and Dumbledore. And then on the back, it has the Noble Collection logo as well as the Harry Potter logo. And here is the pen. It's so cute. It's a little replica of Dumbledore's wand. And I love that it has all the same little knots and the little runes on here as well. All right, to see how it works as a pen, because you might be like, okay, I see it looks like a baby wand, but where's the pen part? The pen part is going to be, if you open it up here, now you have a pen, and then you would just add this face to the bottom. That way you can write with it and it still looks like the wand. And this retails for $8.99. They have a bunch of different other ones you can purchase as well. You can check out Amazon. That's where I purchased this one. So if you have a favorite character, they might have a wand pen for them. So check it out. And since this is a Noble Collection item, they'll have them on their website as well. So if I find that, I'll make sure I link everything down in the description box so it's easy for everyone to find. Ooh, that's satisfying. Ah, I love that. <laughs> But now you have your handy dandy wand in your bag or wherever you want to put your wands. Maybe it's at your desk. So if there's any Dementors that come in, you can get your wand penned out and go, Expecto Patronum! <laughs> All right, enough of that. <laughs> the next two are going to be these feather pens. All right, so I have two feather pens, so like a feather quill pen, but these are more ballpoint instead of a quill. They're a little more user-friendly that way, so I picked up these two pens. This one is a Harry Potter licensed product, where this one is a non-licensed product, but it's still a feather pen, so it kind of goes in that same theme as Harry Potter, but if you don't like to buy licensed products, this is a good route to go in. I'm gonna open them up so we can compare the two. 
All right, so I have both of them out of their packaging. So right off the bat, I can tell that one has a little nicer quality than the other. So let's start off talking about the Harry Potter license one. So this one retails for $4.99 with a $3.99 shipping. I did get this one off of Amazon, but it didn't have Amazon Prime. So the shipping was not free with this one, but it came to a total of $9. So I thought that wasn't too bad compared to the other one, which we'll talk about in a moment. But first impressions for this feather pen is that it definitely looks like a real feather. And here is the pen point at the bottom. It has a little cap on it before you're gonna go right with it. But this just seems like any old feather. It doesn't look anything special. So if I got this without the packaging, I wouldn't even know it was a Harry Potter licensed product. So that seems a little weird to me. Um, you know, they don't have any icon or any indication that this would be from the Harry Potter series, besides that they do use feather pens. So with that in mind, the second one here I think is a lot better quality than that one. This one retails for $13.50, but Amazon Prime is available. So if you have Amazon Prime, the shipping would be free with this item. And this one is a lot better quality. All right, here's a more detailed look at the feather. Even the feather on this one is a lot prettier. It's a lot cleaner looking. All right, so you can see here the feather material. And then this is the pen itself. So you've got a little cap on it to keep it protected. And then it goes in this cute little pot. I think it's so adorable. So you can just place it right in there. And then this would display really nicely on your desk when you're ready to use it. It looks super cute. So I definitely would recommend this one over the Harry Potter license one. In my opinion, I think that this one looks a lot nicer. Yes, this one has a lot of feather like detail more so than the other one. So if you want it to look like a real feather, then maybe go with this one instead of this one. But I like how clean and professional that this one looks. And this one even came in a couple different colors. So I'll definitely link it in the description box below so you can check it out and see what other colors it comes in. All right, next we have some notebooks. Let's take this one out of the packaging. Oh, I forgot that this one also comes with a pen. It's like a wand pen as well. So this notebook is like a replica of Tom Riddle's diary and you can write in it. It has all the blank pages inside and this is the front of the diary or notebook. It has these little metal detailings on the corner and then on the back it has his name stamped in it of course because it wouldn't be his diary without it and that is what the back looks like and this is the pen that comes with it. It's Lord Voldemort's wand and that's what it's supposed to replicate here. And the listed price for this one is $26.39. It's on sale currently for $15.99. So this is just the notebook with all the blank pages. There's no lines in here because it's more authentic to Tom Riddle's diary. He doesn't have any lines on his notebook. I think it would be a really nice display piece as well if you have like a Harry Potter bookshelf or something like that, and if you didn't want to use it, I feel like it would be really hard for me to use this one. All right, next we have this notebook here, and this one is a simple Hogwarts logo notebook. All right, I'll open it up here so you can see the inside, and this one is lined, so that's really nice if you're taking notes with it. And then on the bottom here has a little Hogwarts flag, really cute little icons on the corner, and the pages are all the same throughout it here. And this one comes with a little ribbon bookmark so you don't lose your place if you're filling this out daily or something like that. You can kind of place it where you left off and work from there. So I'd highly recommend both of these notebooks. I think that they're both really good quality. You just kind of buy what you're looking for. So that would be the two notebooks. Next, going off of the notebooks, I have some notepads I want to show you. Let's take it out of the noisy packaging. All right, now I have it out of the packaging. So this is a three pack of notepads. So let's go through each one and I'll show you what they look like. So this first one here is a really simple notepad. It just has a really cute border detailing around it. It's a really nice size to keep some notes on. Just in reference to my face, it's kind of the same size. So this is a really good notepad to work off of. The next one is going to be a really good one if you are someone who likes to make a lot of lists. It also has a magnet on the back, so if you want to put this one on your fridge and use it for like grocery lists and things like that, if you like to make to-do lists, I think that these ones are really nice to have because they're really thin. You can kind of write one word on each line. And I really like the artwork that's on all of these. This one says Accio, 
And then the next one is a really big notepad, so this one would be great for like a desk. And this one has everything broken down to like a daily planner notepad design. So it has 50 pages. So on the very top here, you can circle what the date is. Then you can put some priorities. So if you've got like some priority emails you want to get to or get through, you can note that here. The next one is going to have any appointments that you might have for that day. The bottom right is going to be a little tracker. If you're trying to keep track of how much water you're drinking, that would be a good place to fill those in. And then right here, which is where you could fill in the weather for the day. In the middle here, it has a to-do list. And the very last column here is going to have a blank area where you can just put any notes that you would like. And then on the very bottom corner is going to be a meal planner. So whatever you're going to be eating for the day, if you want to track that, you have a place to fill that out. So I love how unique each pad is. You can use them for a bunch of different needs that you might have. So this three pack of notes is really nice and useful. And the artwork is adorable. This is by the brand Conquest Journals. The listed price for these are $24.99. And right now it's on sale for $18.99, but these are the notepads, super cute. My next stationary notepads that I wanna show you is one I got out of a subscription box. I got this out of the Lit Joy Cray. I think it was the fifth one because in the Order of the Phoenix, Dolores Umbridge is introduced to us. So this one is kind of made after her. It shows you the Ministry of Magic emblem on the front. And then if you open it up, it's going to have that Ministry of Magic logo on the bottom there. And then these are just some simple white post-it notes. And this comes right out. So if you run out of post-it notes, you could fill this in with any other post-it note and you would still have this cute little cover to keep on your desk for any future post-it notes itself. Very simple, very cute. All right, next I have a pack of stickers. So these are a set of 50 vinyl weatherproof decals. Here is the packaging it comes in. I'm gonna open them up and show you a few. These are also made by the brand Conquest Journals. These retail for $9.99. So we've got 50 of these watercolor stickers here. All right, I wanna show you a few of my favorites. So we've got a Polyjuice Potion. We've got a Gryffindor Crest. We've got a Mandrake. We've got Hogwarts. We have the sorting hat. We've got a little lion for Gryffindor. We've got a monster book of monsters. We have Luna's Spectre Specs. We've got Ron Weasley's sweater. And last but not least, we have a sock. It's for Dobby. How cute. I love these stickers, they're adorable. And for 50 of them for 10 bucks, I think that's a pretty good deal because they're very high quality and I like that they're weatherproof. So they will last long. You can put these on mostly anything. I think these would be really cute to put on a water bottle. If you have a plain one, you could stick these on there. All right, we only have one more item here. That's gonna be this item here. Let's get it out of the packaging so I can show you. If you have any guesses, leave them in the comments below. What could be in this box? All right, let me open it here so you can get the first look. There's something on top. Did you guess it? Do you know what it is? <laughs> It's a wax seal set. It gives you three different wax colors to choose from. It's got a red one, a gold one, and a silver one. It comes with a wax stamp. It comes with a little, I don't know what you would call it, a little ladle or something to melt the wax in. And it comes with two little tea lights, what you're gonna burn the wax with. So that is a really nice set. The stamp is really pretty. So this is the Hogwarts Crest this is what would be stamped into any of your wax seals. This is so gorgeous. I don't believe that this is a Harry Potter licensed product, but I'll leave the link down below so you can check it out for yourself if you are interested. And I really think that this is really nice for the price. This quality is pretty good for only being $11.90. That is crazy. I'll insert a clip here showing you how the wax seal set works so you can see what the stamp comes out and looks like. I think it's such a nice little detail you can add. If you're sending out any letters, you would go ahead and stamp it with this. It's so fun. In addition to that wax seal kit that I got off of Amazon, I have a wax seal stamp and some wax that I purchased at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios in Orlando. So for this wax seal kit, can't remember exactly what the price was, but I think it was even more than that entire kit for the, just these three pieces because it's universal. Everything's gonna be a little more expensive there because it's a theme park. But I only bought this one. It's the letter D 
for my last name, which is Dalton. So if I wanted to stamp any letters with it. So this would show the initial of my last name. And here's the wax that they sell at Universal. So for these ones, you wouldn't light it over a tea light. You would just light them itself and let it drip onto whatever you're going to be stamping. And I think these colors are really pretty. This one is more of a bronze color and, and this one's just a red, you know, for Gryffindor, of course. <laughs> so the handle and the stamp is sold separately at Universal as well. Then you can continue to buy stamps like this one here. Then you would just screw it onto this handle here. Same as with the one that comes in this kit. If you have additional tops for the stamp, you can attach it to this handle. This one also screws off as well, so you can replace it with any other stamp you want. But I really love this Hogwarts Crest one. All right, so that wraps up today's Harry Potter stationery haul. I really wanna hear back from you guys. Are you guys into stationery? Are you interested in any of these products? Did you guys have a favorite product? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so you're notified during my next video upload. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.